We're on top of a two-story center hallway pre-33 apartment. Let's go over how to ventilate this roof. The ventilation crew will sound prior to stepping off the ladder and following a load-bearing wall for safety. Place an indicator hole along your path of travel. This will allow the ventilation crew to monitor interior fire conditions. On this style of roof, there is typically no load-bearing roof member other than ceiling joists, also known as rafters. The sounder will find a rafter to follow the work location. An inspection cut is vital for member direction, construction type, and most importantly, safety. The sewer will cut 45 degrees to an exterior wall, rolling one member when felt. Then perform a head cut to locate the same member if felt. If that member is not felt, the construction type is perpendicular going left to right. A center rafter louver is the cut of choice in this construction. We are going to introduce the 7L center rafter louver technique. The sawyer begins by cutting with the top of the bar, finding the first rafter. The saw will then change direction, rolling one rafter and stopping at the next. The sawyer will then perform a parallel cut to form a 7. A second parallel cut is next, followed by the base cut, rolling one rafter. This forms the L. Let's watch our crew perform a 7 and L center rafter louver. Notice the foot alignment is in line with the rafters. This increases your chances of standing on a sound member and aligning your proper cut. A center rafter louver will work for almost all styles of conventional construction. Start small with a single panel and expand it if needed. Expanding the ventilation hole can be accomplished by cutting with construction. Once the initial ventilation hole is in place, extend one parallel cut. Now extend the opposite parallel cut and finish with a base cut rolling one rafter. Let's watch this crew extend with construction. Extending with construction is typically quicker due to less cuts. Now let's expand a center rafter louver against construction. Once you have a ventilation hole in place, you will start by using a head cut rolling one rafter and now make your parallel cut. On the opposite side, input a parallel cut followed by a base cut rolling one rafter. Watch as this crew extends against construction. Switch hands whenever necessary to avoid stepping into a pre-existing hole. Extending a ventilation hole should always be done working towards your egress. Trenching any roof is typically a defensive operation. The trench requires that some sort of ventilation has been done. The most crucial decision is to decide where to start. The trench should be close to finish by the time fire reaches it. Notice how the crews work from one side to another, ending on the same side as their ladder placement. The Sawyers are using a 7 and L technique in this operation. This cut is similar to pre-existing styles out there and can be used for a single center after louver. It has many advantages over the running head cut during a trenching operation. Less cuts, less change of direction with the saw, keeps the crew together, equal amount of saw work, larger openings, can be done in the smoke and at night easily by using rafter feel instead of relying solely on sight, evenly spaced louvers for sure tilting, and most importantly, easy to remember. Mm -hmm.